Another story we're following tonight, a jury is seated for the retrial of Quentin Tellis. He's the man accused of killing 19-year-old Jessica Chambers in 2014 in Panola County, Mississippi. Nine African Americans and three Caucasians will decide the fate of the 29-year-old accused of burning Chambers to death. Prosecutors are retrying the case after a hung jury last October. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders, he gathered reaction in Batesville before the first testimony Tuesday. The Panola County Courthouse here will again draw national attention this week for the retrial of Jessica Chambers' accused killer, Quentin Tellis. For those living here, the retrial presents another opportunity at some kind of closure in a case that's affected many in this community the last five years. For those living in Batesville, Mississippi, the time is now. I think everybody's ready for it to be over with. I hope the town can move on and, and get some rest out of it. This week, most in this community of 7,000 people will again keep close tabs on the happenings in this courtroom. Quentin Tellis is being retried in the murder case of Jessica Chambers after a hung jury last October. I was disappointed, very disappointed. Uh, just wanted it to end, you know. Uh, to come to some conclusion. First responders found the 19-year-old Chambers staggering and badly burned near her charred car in Cortland, Mississippi in December 2014. For the family, because they've been through a lot. You know, I just, I pray for them every night and hope this trial does it for them. Whatever happens in court, those in Batesville hope the jury's decision leads to better understanding instead of unrest. It's a tragedy on both sides because one thing about it, we all went to school together around here and we all actually knew each other like that. And then any time it hurt one side, it hurt the other too. The retrial of Quentin Tellis is expected to last a week or so. If convicted, he faces life in prison without parole. Tellis also faces another murder indictment in Louisiana. No trial date has been set in that case. Reporting in Batesville, Mississippi, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.